Well, students in the Cross Lake Charter School program were delighted to start off the new year with a new school. Our Anthony Scott has more on the school's grand opening event that took place over the weekend. New year means a new school for over 200 students attending the Cross Lake Community Charter School. The building was open in time for the new school year, but it wasn't until this past Saturday that they celebrated their new building. To be a part of a community that embraces a building, change, growth, is really exciting. Probably the most important part of the story is how the community has been involved in the construction of this building. The Lakes Kids Enrichment Foundation was created a few years ago with one goal in mind, to raise enough money to build a new school. The fact that the community all stepped in to help um, really just makes it uh, just such a joyous experience and we're just so grateful. The foundation was able to raise almost $2 million in one year and it was time for a new school in Cross Lake. Cross Lake charter schools would have to use three buildings to house all their students, but now with the new facility, everyone can work together under one roof. It's great having everyone under one roof because a lot of times our younger students benefit from having some of the older kids, reading buddies, you know, helping out at recess and, and those kind of things. And it makes us all feel like a, we're, we're one school rather than disjointed and in a number of different places. The new building features a solarium to teach students about different methods in which they can grow plants and a full-size gymnasium. I have two children here. Uh, they love the lunch. We finally have a kitchen of our own. We didn't have that in our own space. A donor wall will be built near the entrance to thank everyone who contributed to the building, and there are still some odds and ends the Lakes Foundation is looking to raise money for. We need some blinds in the windows because the sun is pretty bright. Uh, we're looking to do some acoustical work in the gymnasium, a rock walls on the wish list, and some other things that aren't maybe needs. High Tech Construction was able to build the school in less than a year, and thanks to the Cross Lake community, students now have one building they can call home. Reporting from Cross Lake, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. The Lakes Foundation owns the building. They hope that it also gets used for future events in the Cross Lake community. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.